Hi everybody, hope you're all okay. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about Epsom salts and the benefits that magnesium has from Epsom salts on the body, in particular people with multiple sclerosis, but they are really effective for people with a lot of conditions. So I'm gonna go through five main benefits of Epsom salts and how they can help benefit us. Epsom salts are made up mainly of magnesium and sulfate. The relationship between adequate magnesium and nerve health in the body has been well established. There has been research carried out between the connection of muscle spasms and deficiency with magnesium in MS patients. So magnesium can be found in a range of different foods, including avocados, nuts, legumes, dark chocolate, tofu, um, and leafy green vegetables, but magnesium can also be taken in through the skin via a bath. And that's why I wanted to talk specifically about Epsom salts. It's something that I've used for so many years and it's helped me. And so I'm just gonna explain five of the benefits in which I believe um, Epsom salts can help people with multiple sclerosis. Magnesium is found throughout our body and every cell in our body needs magnesium in order to function. It's involved in more than 600 reactions in our body, including regulating the nervous system, energy creation, creating food into energy, and also muscle movement, helping in contraction and relaxation in our muscles, which is really important with people with multiple sclerosis. So for me, the first and probably the biggest benefit for anybody um, taking magnesium who has multiple sclerosis is for the anti-inflammatory benefits. So low levels of magnesium in our body can be linked to increased inflammation and increased inflammation can lead to aging, the aging process, and also uh, go on to cause other chronic conditions and make other chronic conditions worse. One review of 11 studies actually concluded that magnesium supplements decrease the level of the C-reactive protein, which is a marker with people with chronic inflammation. It may help to decrease migraine attacks because low deficiency in magnesium has also been linked to migraines. There was a study which suggested that um, supplementing yourself with one gram of magnesium provided acute relief from migraines, um, more than that of like an over-the-counter medication like paracetamol or ibuprofen. People with multiple sclerosis often have trouble sleeping and the reason that usually is is because of the spasms that they're experiencing during sleep or time when you're trying to sleep and the magnesium can actually help with spasms. The way in which it does this is it helps to move blood sugar around your muscles and it helps to dispose of any lactate which has built up in your muscles. Talking about sleep and going on to sleep, magnesium also helps to regulate your sleep patterns and magnesium supplements are often used in the promotion of sleep and is also used as a natural remedy for insomnia. This is because the magnesium is helping to regulate the neurotransmitters which are, which are needed during sleep. There's always a um, vicious circle with MS because if you can't sleep, that gives you stress. If you're stressed, you become anxious and magnesium also helps with anxiety. Research has shown that patients who have taken magnesium have become less anxious. I won't go into all the studies, but I can list it in the description so that you have a bit of an understanding about what I'm talking about. I think the biggest one for me is that magnesium plays a role in brain function and mood. Low levels of magnesium have been linked to depression as well. Here's a little snippet from something that I've researched which says in a small eight week study, um, taking 500 milligrams of magnesium daily led to significant improvements in symptoms of depression 
and people with a deficiency in magnesium. The bottom line here is that magnesium is essential for maintaining good health and it plays a key role in everything from exercise to heart and brain health. There are some things to look out for if you are deficient in magnesium and some of these are loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, fatigue, muscle contractions, seizures and numbness and tingling. But a lot of these are rare. It's just important to look out for stuff like this and if by having a very simple bath with Epsom salts which contains this magnesium then it's maybe something that you can do and incorporate into your daily routine because who doesn't like a bath? Apologies for the very dimly lit video today. I kind of run out a little bit of time to record this. And also, I've not been on um, for some time. And that's because my granny passed away. She was five days short of 102. And it's just um, been a difficult f um, few weeks for myself and my family. But I know that she was always an advocate of me for helping other people so I wanted to put this video out before Christmas. I hope that everybody has a lovely and beautiful Christmas and I will be back in the new year um, hopefully putting more videos out and helping where I can. Take care everyone and see you soon.